love this one. The National Enquirer is reporting that the ever-entertaining John Edwards has asked his mistress, Riel Hunter, for her hand in marriage, which apparently is the only part of her body she hadn't already given him. And <laughs> while he's allegedly buying her a $3.5 million beach house, he has not yet bought her an engagement ring, deferring that purchase until his divorce from wife Elizabeth is finalized. The Edwards camp, of course, has denied all of this. Here to discuss this and a few other topics, our author of Poor Little Bitch Girl, the fabulous Jackie Collins, and founding editor of Huffington Post, Roy Seacoff. Okay, who are we going to believe, the Inquirer or John Edwards? Well, I think she has given him a, a little bit of her hand sometime along the way. I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I mean, if we look at the track record, right? So, exactly. So, so far, exactly. the, Inquirer, I mean, just the Inquirer has been right every step of the way. I know. And John Edwards has lied about it every step of the way. So if i got to put my money on who's telling the truth on this one, Inquirer. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, at I least he's yes. waiting till the divorce is final before giving her the... Uh, the oh, thing, that's the so engagement nice of raise, him. Is it, he's so how good. How thoughtful you, of him. You know, but, but, but you know, look at this guy. What, what, how far has he fallen? I mean, two, th two years ago, we were talking about him being in the White House. Yeah. Now they're talking about his physical endowments. I mean, it's uh, I know, not a good transition. Yeah. Yeah. I hear they're quite impressive. Really? Oh, yeah. What, the tape or...? or? No, the physical endowments. No kidding. <laughs> Where did you People hear that? Tell me That's the word, yeah. You see, I do, that, yeah. That's it the is. word, yeah. He, he knows. I do, yeah. I do, I he do. Knows. Oh, but, but, you know, here's I'm, the, I'm really blushing. She's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, you gotta look, you gotta look at uh, her, uh, this woman that he is yeah. saying is the true love of his life. Let's look at the track record. In yeah. the book, remember, yes. they said that um, she threw a fit when he told her that he had to break a date to fly back to be with Elizabeth <laughs> when she was re-diagnosed with cancer. That, oh. that nice. Marrying, marrying material, wouldn't yeah, you say? I would say so. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Would you yes, ever lovely. marry a guy who didn't give you an engagement ring? You uh, wouldn't, no, right? absolutely not. No. You know no. how I love jewelry. You, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, the report says that John felt Riel deserved this. Don't the, the, the ring and the house and everything else, why does she deserve it? What did she do? They deserve each other, we know that. But why does she deserve well, we all have of these to, things? Uh, we have to see the sex tape, and then we'll be able to tell you exactly what she did. <laughs> oh, so we're hearkening back to the other conversation we just of had two course. seconds ago. Yes. Uh -huh. I, you know, I, I think it comes down to, I don't want to play Freud, yeah. but I think he's trying to justify the thing. So it's, oh, this wasn't some sleazy campaign trail affair. Yeah. This was true love, you know, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. But if we remember from Andrew Young's book, he called her a weirdo and a freak and a slut. Yes. Is this the guy you're going to marry? And that was a good point. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, what about Elizabeth? I mean, I feel bad for Elizabeth. I do. Because she's had cancer. She lost a child. I mean, she's going through hell again with yeah. this idiot. I mean, it's awful, isn't it? Yeah. For her. I, I, I think it's a very bad situation for her to be in, especially if she's sick. Because that does not help it, especially when they're making comments about, well, she's going to die soon and then we'll be rid of her, you know? Yes, that was one of the more charming moments. Yes, in that exactly. Mean, it's kind book. of been like a fidelity Chinese water torture. You know, the drip, 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 drip. Yes. You know, it starts off, well, it was just an affair. Well, it's been a long affair. Well, exactly, I'm pregnant. Well, it's not my baby, it is my baby. On and on, and now they're yes. going to get married. Alert yes. Dave Matthews. Remember, he wanted to have Dave. He promised her oh, Dave yes. Matthews on the rooftop. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, yeah. I wonder if they'll have Dave Matthews in a big wedding. You know, I want to They probably will, but that she's got to die first. Uh, she, they should go to Leonard, <laughs> Leonard's of Great Neck. They do a fabulous <laughs> wedding. Okay, I interviewed Jenny Sanford, Mark <laughs> Sanford's soon-to-be ex-wife, just yesterday, and I asked her about Elizabeth. Edwards and the sex tape, so watch this. My heart goes out to her. I mean, she's got a lot on her plate, and well, you know, nobody now, deserves all that. Well, yeah. you know, there's a, allegedly a sex tape now. I mean, yeah. you at least been spared that since she's in Argentina. Oh, I, I, you know, when I heard about the sex tape, Mark was with the boys. I walked in the room the other day. I said, oh, I looked Mark in the eye. I said, I hope there are no tapes coming. <gasps> oh, yeah. I wouldn't oh, want to be around God. her if a sex tape emerges from a Mark Sanford, would you? No, but I wouldn't want to have that conversation with a husband that had cheated on me. Oh, I hope there's not a sex tape coming. I mean, I that's know. Well, their casual. relationship was odd, wasn't it? Yeah, but, he went to her for advice and everything. But how is she going to believe his answer? Like, oh, no, no, no sex tape. Oh, wait a minute. Weren't you the one on the Al Appalachian Trail yeah. when you were actually down in Argentina? Yeah, I like Not that. hiking, stooping. I mean, it's, uh, uh, he's you know, not exactly no an honest the broker if, there. If I wrote these characters, I would be laughed off the page. Nobody yes. would believe it. Well, I know. Well, yeah. you don't have to even make this stuff up anymore. I, don't. I have to tone it down. That's what I do. I do have a cheating politician in Poor Little Bitch Girl, and if I made him up, you know, he would be even much, much worse than he is. Well, was it art imitating life or life imitating art? In it was case? art imitating life. It was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, but um, um, she seems to be, Jenny Sanford at least dumped the guy. She Good. didn't stand next to him, although she said he didn't ask her to right. when, he, when he told his uh, sordid detail of his story. 
but um, I like her better because she didn't stand next to the guy. But he did ask her how he was on television, didn't he? Didn't he say to her, how did I look on that TV oh, show? Oh, he's a complete narcissist, but yeah. that seems to be the disorder du jour here. Mm. They're all a narcissistic disorders we're talking about. Well, the, you know, this is what, it, what does it take to think that you're going to be, you can run the country? It takes a little bit of uh, narcissism to start off with, to think yeah. that you're the answer, and especially a guy like John Edwards, yeah. who was having the affair and still went ahead and ran for president. Exactly. N knowing that this had to come out, I mean, you know, That's come on. That's real and, and, and Clinton set the example. Yes, you know, I did, did not have sex with that right, woman. Right, right. He set the example for all the teenagers in the country that a BJ was not, you know, a bad exactly. thing. Exactly. I know. Sex. Kids got confused by that. Exactly. Now, what, I know I did. What about the fact... <laughs> <laughs> well, we all did. We all were like, really? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no. Now, you remember this um, uh, uh, Rachel Yucatel with Tiger Woods? Oh, yes. She was one of the women that he yeah, was yeah. sleeping with, allegedly, uh, because... I mean, one uh, of whatever. the... Uh, she is now going to have a job on Extra. Yeah. I mean, this is what happens nowadays. Uh, she has landed a job as probably an on-air, I think yeah. it's an on-air personality, yeah. to, uh, to talk. Well, she'll be looking after Mario. I mean, she'll be his co-host. Okay. <laughs> you know, here's the thing, though. Joy, I got to yeah. say, this to me is horrible. Yeah. It's abs it just reinforces this notion that your shameful behavior is rewarded. Mm -hmm. You know, so we get Levi Johnston, we get Paris Hilton, oh, yes. we get Kim Kardashian, we get the other little baby Kardashians, we get K-Fed. Uh, it, it hurts me that I well, even know the about these people. What did the Kardashians do? They didn't do it. She was in a sex tape. Oh, she was in a oh, sex yeah, tape. Oh, yeah, she was in a yeah. sex tape with uh, Ray J. Oh, I say, uh-huh. Yeah. All righty, then. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see that one? <laughs> you didn't see No, that? I didn't. I didn't well, know about that one. I can't keep up with them. It's hard to. It's and, hard and to. And Ashley Dupre, who was Spitzer's uh, hooker, oh. she has a column in the New York Post. We've um, had her on the show giving but advice. Wasn't, but wasn't he giving... What does it say about me that I have all the hookers on? Well, you know... Yeah. Wait, wait. All the hookers, Jackie. But you want to hear the secrets. I'm getting a little nervous. All the hookers. Wait a minute. What are we? Are we, yeah. <laughs> we raised the bar. Well, I you I have you and the hookers. I love to have oh, the thanks. hookers, yeah. too. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, love that green room. <laughs> thank you guys for doing this. When we come back, I want to know what you thought of uh, Ellen's debut on Idol last oh, night. Yes. Stay right there.